Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here from Creative Frontiers and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change colours in a photograph. If this is your first time visiting and you want to learn best practice techniques to create killer artwork, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. Now in the example image that I've got here, this is called a rainbow larrakeet found in Australia and it has just a phenomenal array of colours for its plumage. I'm going to alter the blue colours towards the top of this bird. I'm going to do this with hue saturation with a technique that is adjustable, non-destructive and um, in order to achieve that I'm going to have to go to the window menu, the home of all panels, go down to the adjustments panel um, which in my case opens up with a properties panel, these two things work in tandem with one another, they're like best buddies. Um, if you can't find the properties panel on your screen it will be down towards the bottom in the list in there and there's the properties panel. I also need the layers panel as well which is over on the right hand side now, it's popped up. So as you can see, I'm just starting off with a, a plain old JPEG file, spectacular as the content is, but this is just a regular one layer background that I'm starting off with. I'm then going to uh, apply the edit, which is from the adjustments panel, it's the middle row and it's the far left hand icon for hue saturation. When I left click on that, the, uh, the controls and the properties appear and the properties panel. And then you'll notice in the layers panel on the far right hand side of the screen that now that edit is stored in a layer in its own right and that can be re-edited, it can be turned off, it can be turned back on again, you can remove it completely without that harming the image. So it, it really is a kind of a very flexible workflow with adjustment layers. In order to make the edit then, I need to make a, a, a good sample of the blue that we've got in here, it's kind of purpley blue. So I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse just to zoom in and then pick up a blue from the bird's plumage. And to do that, I'm going to go to the properties panel. I'm not going to drag the sliders around, I'm going to go to the target adjustment tool which is always found underneath the word preset for whichever adjustment layer is that you work with in the properties panel. Left click on that, hover my cursor over, not a, a really dark blue in there, not a really bright one but just something middle of the road really, just to sample and all you need to do with this is to left click. With a left click it doesn't change the artwork in any way. All it does now is at the bottom of the properties panel, this tells us the colour that we are going to edit, the range of colours. So um, with that done now, I can zoom out just so I can get a nice clear view of that part of the bird in the image. And then I am free then to just go to the hue slider, the saturation or the lightness. So I'll take each of these in turn. Obviously the one that has the most impact is the hue slider and then I can just drag this from left to right. So if I drag this towards the right hand side, you'll see that the colours change. That works really effectively. Now, there will be a point where you get to some colours and you can see that actually the original sample didn't pick up other types of blue or the purple colour inside of there. So it is possible to increase the range of colours that you affect as well. That's fairly easy to do. Um, the way that it affects your images, that down at the bottom here, we have a set of brackets essentially so we've got two inner brackets and that tells us that the original colors in the image which are shown in the upper hue spectrum in here those are the kind of dark purpley colors they will be affected and then at the bottom that is now kind of what they've become those colors down there so that's the new color and that was the previous color in that uh, strip of two hue spectrums in there now the outer brackets um, this region from the inner to the outer, that is the fall off. So uh, everything will be affected in the middle here between the two brackets, but as you get closer and closer towards the outer brackets, those colours in the image will be less affected and then once you reach the bracket, anything beyond it will be unaffected and re it'll retain its original colour. So from here then, I can take my um, cursor, I can drag these out. I'm going to have to be careful about the other colours in here because obviously this bird has got lots of colours involved with it. So if I drag the outer point in here, it will help me just to include more colours in that range. As I drag that slider across, across in here, I should be able to just pull the other inner outer one there. You can see the colours now being added into the area that will be affected. Now the, uh, the inner point and the outer point for left hand side, they're very close together. Again, I can click on the outer point and drag it across. When you do drag it across to the either end of the spectrum in here, you might find it pops up at the opposite side. Not a problem, you can carry on dragging that out and then increasing the range of the image it affects. We don't want to go too far because obviously don't want to start affecting the other colors in the image. And if I do that, it will. You can see that some of the, the area at the back of the bird now that's yellow is being affected. So I'm going to pull that back again in here. I just want to make sure that I've grabbed as much of that as possible I can of the bird 
and then a little bit more of the red in there just pulling that in as well and i think with that that's about as much i can get away with with this particular image having done that now and having tweaked the area that will be affected i can go back up to the hue slider and i can drag this around and i can change it to a different color in there so you can experiment with this and i'm obviously using this with a nature as, a, as an example here for the lorikeet but it could be a product it could be something that you want to alter the uh, appearance of and just experiment with colors with but this is um an example of how the target adjustment tool when you sample color it's a lovely way of being able to pick an image color and not be burdened by trying to make complicated selections now um to finish off this i am actually going to go back towards the other end in here i'm going to go for i'm going to go for this color here i'm quite keen on this color it's kind of grabbed my attention um, you can also then go to the saturation slider so if you want to um desaturate you can drag the saturation slider towards the left hand side to take some of the color out in there of course you could do the opposite and drag it towards the right hand side to intensify color uh, it might obviously not look very realistic so i'm just going to take that back a little bit there just to mute out that color just a little bit in there it's quite strong and then for the lightness um you can drag this to left hand side to darken those colors down this is a quite strong quite powerful is the lightness slider so you might only need to drag this very slight towards the left and the right hand side in there to alter that um so yeah i think with a couple little of adjustments i am fairly happy with how that looks in there so um one final um, step then is if i want to try and help this blend in a little bit better you could always change the blend mode so if i go back to the layers panel because the hue saturation is active in here click on the drop down menu where it reads normal so there is no um there's no interaction with transparency in here um if i go down the list then these do change instantly now in the uh, newer versions of photoshop so you do see an instant preview of how that works if i go down to for example something like hue you may find that helps just blend it in with the existing colors i could choose color as well so in some cases you may well get a better end result hue and color in this case for hue saturation may well be worth trying and so here we've got the uh, finished example and if i go back to my visibility icon in here that was before and that's after so that's how we can change specific colors inside of an image in photoshop without the hassle of great long lengthy process selections but just with the target adjustment tool so as always folks if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up obviously you can always subscribe and click on the bell and things like that and uh, until next time farewell folks